Hello once again, this is James and welcome to my computerized accounting tutorials with QuickBooks. Uh, today we are going to look at posting transactions in QuickBooks. QuickBooks comes with a pre-installed chart of accounts as we saw in the previous video. And these accounts will be set depending on the company selection you did during your company setup. Uh, to post a transaction in the chart of accounts, you only need to open up one account and the other and enter the entry while QuickBooks does the other posting in the other affected account to complete the double entry system. And let us see this uh, spot on. Now we're going to go to our company which we previously created. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Then we're going to come to our chart of accounts. And this will open up our chart of accounts. We are going to assume we are going to pay for cleaning services. We had created uh, a, an account for cleaning. Should be down somewhere. So we are going to pay this company here for cleaning as of this day today. We want to pay it using our money found in the cash book. So I only need to open up my cash book. Uh, then it will open up something like this. Then I will set the date I need to do that transaction on. Uh, let's say we are back dating back to our June. And maybe I did it on uh, Monday 7th. Uh, the account I want to pay is cleaning up. Uh, maybe the memo uh, pay to Alice. Then here I have two options. Uh, this can either be a payment or a deposit. And in this case it's supposed to be a payment. So where you see these three zeros is where I'm supposed to put the money. Supposing I paid 20,000 for that cleaning. The memo explains why it, or wha what you're paying up and here is the account you're paying to and what type of uh, uh, transaction it is. Either a payment or a deposit. So in this case it's a payment. Then you're going to click record. Uh, notice how our money has reduced from the original opening balance which was deposit of 40,000 and we have paid off this 20 making it 20 as our balance then after recording you can close then you can go back to your chart of accounts and you see that our balance has reduced uh, if we scroll down to our cleaning up account you will also notice that the money has been reflected there that uh, we are paid on the 7th of June Alice was the one paid cash and this was the money paid to them. So that is how you uh, create a transaction. Um, let us try to uh, maybe make up now a payment. That was an expense. Supposing we want to receive a payment. Uh, so we shall come to our cash book again. Uh, this time round the account might be, uh, is it blowing? Uh, blowing services. Uh, let's say we offer blowing services to our customers. So this shall be an income account. We are creating it through this. Then we say blowing services. Uh, and it say save and close. Oh. This account is so right. Uh, the spelling is so right. Uh, let's first close this. We go back here in our services and we edit it. So this is one where we can edit an account to change its name. So we will say blowing services, save and close. Notice that now it's been fixed. 
uh, come back to our cash account uh, on the same day we shall leave it on the 6th of June and on the 7th of June then you try to type our account which is blowing and it will bring it as an income account so this account is supposed to bring in money so this time you're not going to go to the deposit I mean to the payment side you're going to go uh, to the deposit side you can give it a memo uh, received from John for cleaning uh, his PC so he's maybe paying us 60,000 then we say record notice that our balance now has increased previously it has been 20 we've added on the 60 now it has been turned to an 80 so that's how you record transactions from income and expense accounts in your chart of accounts so when you go back still to our chart of accounts notice that now our balance has been changed and when we come to our blowing services account which is an income account when we open it up it will show that uh, the money was received you can expand this a bit uh, for cleaning from John for cleaning his PC and the money was actually 60,000 on that date and it's a deposit then you can close it off to confirm so you notice that I've only been opening the cash account to post the entry but the corresponding accounts have been affected as well so that is how we deal with posting transactions in an account so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video